Let's chat. We need your help over the next couple of days to turn Chattanooga, or I should say, color Chattanooga pink. Here with all the information is Mr. Mark Height and, of course, Miss Emily Pemberton. Thanks for joining us. Thank Glad you. to be here. All right, tell us a little bit about what is color Chattanooga pink and how did this all get started? Well, the Pink Gala, as it's known, is really one of the biggest fundraisers in town. Mm -hmm. And so three years ago, we got to this place of saying, how do we talk? We talked to 1,250 people at one time right. about breast cancer, but how do we talk to 150,000 people about breast cancer and thus color Chattanooga pink? This is our goal is to help raise awareness through events, activities, and all these people watching us today helping talk about early detection and using social media as our primary platform. Perfect. So there are a couple different things that are involved with Color Chattanooga Pink. Um, first off, tell me a little bit about what's happening next Wednesday. There's a block party, correct? Absolutely. We'd like to invite everyone, whether you work downtown or you're coming downtown, to the Unum campus from 11 to 1. We've got a block party going on to really, from a major perspective, raise awareness uh, of uh, breast cancer. And we've got food trucks, coffee trucks. We're selling shirts. Colored Chattanooga pink shirts. Uh, the mayors will be there. We'll have proclamations. It'll be a good time. Now, this event is not just one day. It's really kicking off tomorrow on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So tell me how else we can get involved and what else we need to look for throughout the community. You know, just like some of the slides we've got today with some businesses that have colored their windows and have shared that up on social media. We've had office groups dressing in pink um, and hashtagging on Instagram, doing videos about who's important to them. We've had survivor videos, all to talk organically to mm -hmm. your friends because peer-to-peer -peer is the best way we can share information. Right. But if you go to Pink Gala on Facebook, you will see all the events. Uh, there are give back nights with restaurants. We've got shopping events. Uh, lots of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And so it's as simple as, you know, wearing pink and snapping a photo, decorating your office or your home, right? Absolutely. Perfect. And it's all to support the mission of what we do with the Maryland Loker uh, Breast Center and how we help care for folks uh, as we identify uh, the issue. Exactly. Emily, I want you to tell us why this is so important for the community to jump behind. Sure. So at the Breast Center, we have three different locations. We have a location here in Chattanooga, and then we also offer um, breast services in Hickson and Ottawa. Um, so the fundraising from Pink, it actually goes back to give back to um, individuals in the community here. So the funds from Pink in the past have helped um, provide 3D mammography machines mm -hmm. at our facilities as well as um, help uh, purchase machines that we use out on our mobile coaches and those mobile coaches they go out to 24 different counties in Tennessee and five counties in Georgia so that's a broad area that we're covering we're helping a lot of women in a lot of different areas and with these mobile units these you're reaching communities and you're reaching women that maybe necessarily wouldn't be able to make it in for their mammogram right, right. we're traveling you know up to an hour away so that's mm -hmm. fantastic women you know they might not be able to get here to the city, but we're bringing it to them. Fantastic. And remind everyone at home why it's so important that, you know, we have these annual checkups and that we stay ahead of the game and try for that early detection. Sure. So um, what we recommend here at the Breast Center, we recommend that you have a baseline mammogram done between the ages of 35 and 40, and then at 40 you have a mammogram done every year. So if, as you have a mammogram done every year, that really helps the radiologist know what's normal for your breast tissue, right. and it helps um, early detection, which is key with breast-related um, issues. Because one in eight women in this country will be affected by wow. breast cancer. Right. One in eight. And the only way we are able to bring that number down so it doesn't result you know, in a fatality mm -hmm. is early detection, just like right. we're describing. And you don't have to, if you don't have insurance, it's okay. Right. We can take care of you at the Maryland Local Breast Center. Exactly. That was another point I was going to mm -hmm. ask, you know, especially with the coaches, is mm -hmm. you don't turn people away. No, we do not. We do not. We have funds um, in place, and then we also have grants that we've received that help um, us care for women who are uninsured or underinsured. And this color Tattanooga pink is another way for us to help to make sure that our women in the entire area are getting that, those scannings, you know, potentially early detection that's mm -hmm. needed. Guys, I want to remind you of a couple of dates. Color Tattanooga pink is kicking off tomorrow and going through January 25th. Be sure to put your pink on display, snap a photo and share it on social media. Use the hashtag color Chattanooga pink. Also mark your calendars for next Wednesday for the color Chattanooga pink block party happening on the Unum campus downtown. 
And for more information on the Mary Ellen Local Breast, Mary Ellen Loker, my mouth will work today, Breast Center, you can visit them online at memorial.org slash paint for more information. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you.